Dad, can we receive healing by worshiping God? Hi, Deo. It looks like just uh, a very simple question. But honestly, it is not very simple to answer. But never mind. I try to catch your question and um, I trust the Lord for he will lead me to share something about this extremely large topic about the connection when you worship the Lord and also are connected to healing. Now, most of the time when you hear about healings, yeah, but here about, of course, Jesus, he is our healer. You can study very well, have a lot of Bible verses, even what he did on the Golgotha, on the cross, the sacrificial offering for us, and of course, his resurrection. So something he put Basically, the all sins, the whole world sins, what the past and what exists, and in the future, in his body and soul, and put on the Golgotha and sacrifice himself, for we can have freedom. Now, you can study about these things. It's also a big topic. Also, you can hear about how many times. Your faith, yes, Theo, your faith is, your faith is make you be healed. That means if you believe, you can receive. We learned before also, for it's very important what you believe. If you believe godly things through the Word of God, through the Holy Spirit, through His revelation, do it. It's happening and a great blessing in your life. But if you believe the lie, wow, can affect and bond you. And this is can be here yeah, for a time being, not forever. For God, the God's grace is so uh, sufficient for us and it's wonderful for He bring us to a new knowledge, changing our mind, understanding, until then we learn something so we can believe not the lie but believe him the truth his truth but the question was not this the question continue about worship now let's just first go directly to the word of god exodus chapter 23 and verse 25 the new international version says, Worship the Lord your God, and His blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Wow! Worship the Lord. Blessings will be on your food and water, and he take away sickness from among you and me, everyone. Interesting, just let you know, for the worship word, if you look at this English translation, the NIV, but you may search into other translations, that will exchange the worship word with served, yes, served the Lord. So, you know, worship is very simple. If you like cars, you know, some people is changing his car every month. That means this is, he worship the car. He's serving, he buying, he doing, he focusing. Some people may like to game, playing many games. All your timing. Oh, they will. You also sometimes really, 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 really spend so much time 
But praise the Lord, when we learn mathematics now, your heart also step by step changing and sometimes you really rejoicing when you discover for you understand mathematics for this wonderful this is one of the language of the creation and you do very well now to keep going but the means is what is our heart and uh, we worship the things what we love. We serve the things what we love. And of course, we can be slave. Even slave to God, freely, is wonderful to be slave. When the Lord can do whatever. One day I shared also in Hungary, for Lord, you can ask me whatever you ask, I will do it. No, he asked me many things in my life. And really, I needed to walk on the water. But finally, he is amazing. And it's not about the importance of my life. It's about for obey to him. This is how I worship him, how I serve him. And honestly, thank for Lord for when we had the publicly the authentic worship. Basically, most of every day were possible to worship him publicly. We had the everyday services, even not one, but lunch, afternoon and evening services. Today, wonderful also to serve through internet. Wow, I just passed the 10,000 subscribers. I am a little bit proud about this number. It's a very nice number, but look for hundred thousands, millions. Why? For it's about the God's music and about His Word, like this podcast also speak about Him, glorify Him. I serve Him through podcast, and this is wonderful. Serve Him with podcast. Of course not necessarily copy what I do, but everybody can receive from God what to do, what need to do. Yes, everybody have a calling, a purpose here on earth. So worship is wonderful. And honestly, year after year, I was very healthy in my body. Sometimes was a little cough, but basically no anything. After when we closed the public service, wow, that needed so big renovation of my body. Go, you know, the heart the operation and uh, um, hernia operation and many other things, you know. And uh, but very happy for God is make also many renovation in my body. But let's see what the Bible says about, about the church, about his body. Wow, listen. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 24 says, I now rejoice in my sufferings for you. Sufferings for you. Wow, so the other person. And fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ for the sake of his body, which is the church. No. It is very interesting. Have time and time and the Lord ask me for pray for people and even intercede even begging to God for somebody. Listen, I now rejoice in my sufferings for you, for the sake of his body, which is the church. The church is not a building. The church is people. And I time to time receiving really, 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 really many prayer requests, emotional, body and even sometimes spiritual attack also. 
and suddenly can appear in my body a feelings and symptom about this pain was can be maybe something in my body like intestine pain suddenly just came a pain and I also I received some very wonderful persons message for oh my wife is suffering uh, such difficulties about her intestine and I just know for now the whole Lord asked me for pray for her and this what the Bible says I now rejoice in my sufferings for this person so you know can be many other feelings don't need to take immediately something negative oh running to the doctor for what happened be patiently waiting for the revelation of God worshiping him serving him through intercessor prayer so the feelings is can be like this but sometimes you are the one who who really sick and this time also wonderful for you praying and intercede and you just you receive the power filling up your body with his strength and you know the joy of the Lord is my strength so let's just go over about my weakness about my feelings even daily it's not necessary for immediately gone such feelings of pain sometimes take a long time but God is my healer and through worshiping through connecting him to get connection with the power station through his word the gospel and himself his power the gospel is power the word of God is power I can experience his grace and love what is sufficient for me now you must know us in other Bible verse. First Corinthians chapter 12, and let's start with the 27th first before we go to 25 and 26. So 27 says, Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. So there you understand you belong to his body. Jesus is the head of his body and you belongs a part of them with many 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 others so therefore listen verse 25 so that there should be no division in the body wow no division no complaining no gossiping no accusation each other no division in the body but that its parts should have equal concern concern for each other so when i receive a, a prayer request the lord give through his spirit and concern something come in my heart and i can feel the pain in physical or i feel how the holy spirit use me as a part of his body to pray for this person and verse 26 says if one part suffers every part suffers with it the good news if one part is honored every part rejoices with it so therefore there are a lot of testimonies showing when we just came over and we hear about the testimonies of healings while we're rejoicing together the whole body even if everybody knows or not doesn't matter but the word of god is truth we re rejoice so therefore the worship is very important serving him is very important pain feelings is very important 
let me touch by God's power. Let me connect it to God. Let me experience He's a living God and we connect that in His love, in His grace to each other.